Hey everyone, Nick here looking at Zoom. Uh, clearly a very strong stock, uh, popular. This is a daily candle chart. It's basically what most people look at. Last time I did a video, it was a pretty popular video. Um, probably upset a few longs, but they should have forgiven me because they made so much money since then. The stock was somewhere here, mid-70s, I, I want to say. And I said, wait out a few candles and see how the breakout or breakdown is going to happen. And I thought that I also made a statement, in fact, it was in the description, that it's a matter of the fundamentals catching up with the hype. And they just reported earnings, and they indeed they did. Uh, so now the, that mystique is gone. Basically, the imagination goes wild as to what they're going to do, and now they told us what they're going to do, what they did, and what they're going to do forward because they had a guidance. So they clobbered everything, right? So the story couldn't have gotten better. And yesterday, Kramer was, bye, 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 it's going to the moon. Nobody wants to sell it. Yet here we are, red today, okay, down 5%. 4.5% is not the end of the world, especially after such a big run. So forget the fundamentals. Let's look at the chart and see if it's got some clues. So today earlier I posted uh, on the 5-minute chart that it was going to come down to tw um, 210 and with a stopover of like 213 and change, and now it's below that stopover on its way to 210. So that should still unfold, and I'll show you w why I'm saying that. But also from the fundamental perspective, any chart, regardless of the story, that breaks out this clearly, I mean, nice breakout, right? So it depends. If you're following trend, trend breakout, started here. Level breakout started here from the prior fail, you know, with conviction. This was a conviction sell. Another one, forget what it was. Anyway, and then one was Facebook. The other one probably was some security password thing. And then uh, breakout from the level, clearly. So the better place to go along is when they come back and test the breakout. And they will eventually at some point. Um, and there are several levels like that, many levels in here. So like th this doji here, kind of like uh, speaking my interest, that would be one place to look at. That's round 208. Uh, these two candles and this top split the middle. 202 203 uh this gigantor candle here i you know it's just a big candle so what i'm saying is you need more information you get this more information by zooming in so let's cut into two hours okay so now we have a little bit more information a couple, couple of dojis here to give us confirmation on this 208 level was good this collection of candles right here tells me that 203 204 candle level is good now i have a new level here on 198 197 Okay, and then still this gigantic thing. So clearly we need to go slower, lower. 60-minute uh, candle. Okay, so now we have a 195, 196, and a gap down here. Let's go to 30. I'm pretty sure I know where we're going to end up. Uh, let's go to 15. All right, so on the 15, it, I still have this gigantic thing here. So then let's manage the day. Because clearly there's a big fight today. So this is the um, the first ledge that they needed to hold, and they lost it. And I thought that 210 would have been the good uh, target for it. I didn't pick that level out of my butt because it is past history. If I look left, I saw this candle right here, and I thought it was important. So they anything around it is going to be important. Then there's this ledge right here, 207, split the difference come up with something right in the middle of those two. So um, now uh, the Bulls need to hold 212, and if not, they may finish this three pushes down, which should put it inside this collection, which is not the end of the world. This is a nice consolidation zone. So, um, you know, it should be supportive. If they, fall, if they fall into it, it should be supportive. The representation of it is this tail right here. Somebody tried to do something with it bad here, and it goes... Whoosh, that must have been the earnings. Anyway, so, and then they went. Another base is right here. And there's a lot of froth down here. So this candle here was pretty strong. I think it will need the overall market to continue correcting, continue. <laughs> One half day of red in the market. If it continues and it actually closes red, which is illegal these days, it might put some added pressure. So if I'm long and I haven't booked anything, I'm definitely then committed for years and years and years because no stock does this forever. Um, if if that's your commitment, that's great. This is more of a shorter term trading comment. If I'm not long yet, this dip is not big enough for me to buy um, because 5% is not going to make a difference in the near term. It's going to make a lot of difference. It's not going to make a difference in the 
actually for the long term nothing's going to make a difference if you're going to own it for years like amazon like whether you bought it at 50 or 60 or 70 it didn't matter right because it's 2600 or whatever it is at the highs um same concept here if you think this is an amazon like stock which i don't think it is but anyway if you do then it doesn't really matter but if you're trying to get into a position that's going to pay you right this position if you start here you're taking on some risk there's no trigger at least wait for the trigger here so at least wait to buy this or but no, know that 219 is going to be resistance and then this is going to be definitely resistance and another trigger up here so this is where how fast are you trading know your time frame if you're this fast trading then maybe you should look at the five minute charts because then the lines become a little more minute and now you have a, a trigger launch here and a trigger launch there depends on where you want there's a sell button right here there's definitely a sell button right there there's definitely a sell button right here the carrot is this one to go whoa to the moon it will need the entire markets mojo uh, there's a good support zone right here so if it falls to here maybe i'll start catching the falling knife when they come into this consolidation zone and this rejection of the bottom another consolidation zone so this is where you need to know what is my timeline and then you act on that uh, that's my opinion now so this is nothing to do with how great the company is you could have closed the the tick covered up the ticker and this this would be the same comment so is this a push some consolidation to finish the job or are they trying to do this and then a mini breakout from here to come back eventually and draw whatever cup and handle whatever they have and just take this out know the time frame if you're playing for this you're playing for the long term if you're short term trading these are your lines right now for the next few hours and this will be a sell place i should say a resistance place this is definitely a resistance spot right there and this is a good place to have some support and this better support down here these are short-term uh, comments okay so again divest yourself from how, how much you love the stock and know what you're doing are you investing are you trading well know your time frame um, look at the internals of the stock know who's in control of the stock that's really important so at this speed at five minutes the sellers are in control if you zoom out to daily for example the buyers are in control so you have to know how to judge the candle is an up candle going to get sold once it approaches the line where they're selling it or on this timeline yes they're going to sell the pops until the the bulls trough and break out of the uh, descending trend line okay next signing out